Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are going to be testing if bosses can survive against another weapon, which is the ultimate fist weapon from the juice mod. Now, this weapon, if we look at its stats and everything, the ultimate fist, infinite damage, 5% critical strike chance, insanely fast speed, insane knockback, cheat item, charges the ultimate fist attack, full charge, one shots, nearly anything, life regenerates and infinity immunity frames while held, and it's pretty much a reference to one punch man. I belief i mean red glove like come on i think it's a reference hopefully but yeah we're gonna put this up against a bunch of bosses and uh we're gonna see if we could actually you know one punch all of them you could barely notice it on my character because uh, my character is a mushroom i mean i guess you can see it a little bit if i if i walk maybe i don't know maybe my hand is just more red than usual but yeah we're gonna storm through a bunch of the earlier bosses because we know how it is we don't want to take too much time on the earlier bosses because we know that most of them are gonna die in one shot no matter what so let us hop right into it starting with the king slime of course so the ultimate fist you could just you know click it once and do a little punch and it kind of pushes you around and stuff but to really one shot you gotta charge this up until you get like the little red particles around you and then that's when you unleash the beast boom get him out of here killed him so damn quickly the game kind of lagged and froze for a second while it is still daytime let's go ahead let's knock out the queen bee get this baby charged up let's see if i can hit her though oh she kind of running she kind of running so there's a couple bosses i'm kind of interested to see this on and uh the destroyer the eater of worlds and the brandon cthulhu those are the ones i'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna work out mainly because you know those are segmented bosses and obviously the brandon cthulhu you need to kill the creepers first but yeah let's go ahead i cthulhu next charge baby up let it rip we don't even need to let it charge up that much honestly let me let me check real quick let me just spawn one in can i just tap it on them nah it doesn't do enough if i just tap it on the eye get through it's all good just he still gets one shot at either way all right next up here we got skeletron boom get him out of here we are on to the wall of flesh i'm going right for his mouth boom and look at that we like went directly into the boxy spawns that's that's kind of perfect all right next up here we got the uh, twins i kind of want one of them to dash at me oh hit him with the two for one special they did it to themselves they both dash at the same time next up we got skeletron prime I probably should uh, do the Dungeon Guardian before we get too far. I'll do that in a second. But uh, there you go, Skeletron Prime dead. And now we're on to the Destroyer. And then after the Destroyer, we'll, we'll do Dungeon Guardian, the Eater of Worlds, and the Brink of Thule. I kind of did this in a weird order. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's see what happens. What? I just went right through him. Oh, that didn't, that didn't insta-kill him. Maybe I didn't hold it long enough. I don't know. It's not insta-killing him. It's not instant killing him. All right, so we're gonna try again, but this time we're gonna aim for his head, okay? We're gonna aim for his head and see if we can get a one shot like that. Ooh, that, that even hit him. Okay, we're gonna pretend he's still at full health because I, I felt like I kind of missed there. Boom. Oh, well, there you go. Hit him right in his head. I don't know if I didn't charge the fist up enough. I, I, I kind of want to test it one more time, just one more time. I'll charge up the fist a long time again, and then I'm just gonna aim for a random body segment. No, see, look, yeah, his head does take a lot more damage, but you gotta hit it with a fully charged fist, and I keep missing. All right, let's go ahead, let's do uh, the Dungeon Guardian. I expect the Dungeon Guardian to get one-tapped, like most of these bosses. Yep, all right, we are testing out the Eater of Worlds. Can he even make it this high? I have no idea. I hope he can make it this high, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna drop down and just hit him, and he kind of lived. He kind of lived. Whoa, oh my god. Where did that where did that piece of his body go flying? He's kind of living. I'll give this to him and the, oh, this kind of cool. They're doing a little little formation here. But yeah, I, I'll give it to him. He just lost a lot of health all of a sudden. Him and the destroyer seem to be able to survive a hit even to the head. I'm thinking because of their segments. That worm is gone. He's out of here. What about boom? Send that one over there too. Oh my God! Look at him go. Look at him go. He, he's going off the map. Look what the heck. How does this even work? Did it, they're just despawning out there. And they're gone, just like that. What did I just witness? All right, here we are. We are in the corruption or the crimson. Let me see if I get like a perfect hit where I kill all of the creepers and the Brandon Cthulhu at once. I don't know if that's the easiest thing to get a perfect hit. We gotta have them like up here. I don't know, man, perfect hit. Oh, 
my god it didn't even shoot us far enough so i couldn't really get the perfect hit there i feel like i had it lined up well but let's just you know let's just go for the kill at this point it's taking a while like this is the thing with the brain of Cthulhu. i never know if this counts as not really dying to it because you do have to kill all these creepers which seems to happen every single time we try and kill the brain of Cthulhu. we got to kill the creepers first all right all the creepers have been slaughtered the brain of Cthulhu himself or their self dead and uh yeah i don't know we'll put that up there on the list it's the brain cthulhu usually goes on the list of survivors next up the golem let's go ahead i think this is just gonna be a one hit i don't know it got multiple phases in the golem yeah it was a one hit kind of slower one hit but it's a one hit nonetheless next up plantera of course uh, this plantera also has two phases but I expect it to yeah, just get one-shotted. All right, here we are at the uh, P Ocean from the Calamity mod. And let us go ahead and uh, one-tap Duke. I completely missed. Let's try again. Boom! There we go. See you later, Duke. And then I guess before we hop into uh, fighting Moon Lord, Pillars, and Cultists, let's might as well test it out on Betsy. So here we are. We're testing it out on Betsy. One tap. I completely missed somehow. I, this thing has got very low range, which is understandable. It is a fist. But uh, let's see if we get the perfect hit. There we go. See you later, Betsy. All right. So we're doing the Lunatic Cultist in a different world because I don't want to mess up my world. God damn it. I missed. Come here. Stand still boom get them out of here all right so let's see if i can land like a four piece here with all the pillars i'm gonna try my best nope did not work at all did we at least kill this pillar in one shot i have no idea i don't think we did solar pillar which one's the solar one this one this is the only one that has health so let's try and kill this one. Oh, okay yeah that one definitely got one shotted uh what about this one stardust yeah that one got one shotted too which one's vortex the one on the right okay and boom vortex gone logan the guy died i'm noticing a weird thing where they kind of go flying when i hit them and then last but not least the nebula pillar we need a nebula enemy to spawn in because it's that little bug where you know their health is like negative and bye bye nebula pillar i'm gonna send you into the sky boom okay it went down even though i swung at it upwards whatever and here we are at the moon lord now the thing with the moon lord is like it requires a minimum of four shots i believe unless we're using the black hole pickaxe uh it requires a minimum of four shots to kill the moon lord with most of these uh higher hitting dps slash one hitting weapons so i don't know if you count him as a survivor i don't know we'll put we'll put him as a somewhat of a survivor just most of these bosses we put them as a somewhat survivor because we're, you know, we're not exactly sure since most of the thorium bosses don't really you know withstand against any of these one tap weapons we're just gonna try and blaze through them now i'm gonna even summon the granite energy storm up here just you know just blaze through these bosses boom buried champion bring them up here bring him to hell because i'm assuming that's where he's going after he dies we got the star scouter up next let me see what happens if i'm in this uh mount and attack something with the fist how, how well does this work not at all i mean we kind of don't move so maybe it is pretty useful i could just do something like that nice that actually might be a good combo fist count no no i could i could kill him and i could kill him fast enough watch this okay so we're gonna do this charge up the fist boom get him before he runs away from me her him i don't know same thing with the queen jellyfish kill him before they run away if they even attempt to run away the queen jellyfish didn't even try all right borean strider you're alive what the hell that's okay yeah that's like uh, that's a survivor right there i, I put that on the, like for sure survivor that's kind of surprising did that ever happen before i don't know i feel like the morning strider has survived in the past all right next up we got cosmix i don't know if he'll survive he survived what the fuck is there like second phase that's saving them with the all the thorium second phases yeah i, I consider that a w for the thorium bosses so far i'm actually pretty surprised here because you know i just kind of wanted to zoom through these bosses so we can get to the calamity ones but you know not too bad so far thorium all right let us wrap up calamity by fighting enraged abyssion okay again surviving with its final phase very interesting let me let me do it one more time maybe i'm not charging up the fist enough i doubt that it's that but so let me just charge it up a little bit longer now look they're surviving with the like little last phase let's go ahead let's try the lich if the lich also survives with its last phase like we might have a common theme here we might have a common theme with thorium because most of these uh, thorium bosses they do have multiple phases so let's go ahead let's test it out on the lich yes still in uh, still alive in his other phase but uh 
I don't, I don't know. I feel like there was a couple other bosses that had multiple phases and they didn't really do anything. Why is there a bunch of fish everywhere? All right, last but not least for Thorium, Ragnarok, of course. Let me see if I can land that three-piece. I think that was a three-piece. I'm not actually sure. Boom. And one more. Just the bubbles now. Oh, God. This is going to be kind of annoying to kill the bubbles. There's so many bubbles everywhere. Last bubble right here. I can't tell if I'm even one-shotting it or what. There we go. Might get a little bit loud. Hopefully, it's not too loud. It was really loud for me. Maybe my headphones are just turned up really high. And, uh, wait. Did I kill Reality Breaker in the middle of that? Let's go ahead. I don't know why I said Reality Breaker. I think I accidentally killed 9 Reality in the middle of that. Let me try again. Yeah. So, again, this one of those bosses was like, do they survive? I did have to attack them multiple times. But at the same time, I did one-shot the final phase of it. I, I don't know. A lot of those Thorium bosses did surprise me, though. So, shout out to Thorium for surviving. All right, let's go ahead and start ripping through these Calamity bosses. I kind of, I probably should do uh, the Juice and Consolario bosses. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Boom, starting with the Desert Scourge. Dead. One tap. Didn't expect anything more from the Desert Scourge. All right, next up here, we got Crabulon and then we got all these dried seekers still flying around crabulon you're just not strong at all you're cool looking don't get me wrong but like other than that you don't really got much standing for you so i'm very sorry for this all right let's take on the last three bosses from calamity's pre-hard mode perforator terror uh the, what's the other one hive mind oh he died instantly and the uh, god slime let's just let's just do the god slime right now might as well since i'm not in a corruption biome so i don't think i could do teratoma my bad i keep on saying teratoma like i'm playing the binding of isaac boom no we can't watch out you we gotta kill the slimes first okay boom those guys got hit with that two-piece now come down here boom Get him out of here. And here we are. We are in a viable place to fight the hive mine. I don't know if the greatest place because obviously space. So when you jump, you get a little, you get the little extra air time. But see you later. We don't even get to see any other parts of you. Just get him out of here. All right. So now we are doing the hard mode section of Calamity Bosses. Starting with Crowd Gen. Bye bye kind of saw Crowdgen go through a bunch of his phases in that split second that it died all right we got the brimstone elemental here bye bye okay i see her with the dodge okay i'll give you that one but you still you're still gonna die next up my favorite boss here the aquatic scourge which i don't i don't even really know if it's a boss if i'm being honest you know I, okay he kind of survived that hit though i'll give him that He's surviving the hits. The best boss so far in Calamity to survive hits. Maybe I'm just not charging it up long enough. I don't know. Let's, let's do it one more time just to make sure. Boom. Yeah, he's surviving the hits. So I guess we got our first survivor in uh, Calamity. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take on Cal. Good old Cal. She's kind of like evading me a good bit here. Boom. That just skipped through all her phases. Insta kill. We're not even going to see any other phases, which is surprising. Obviously, when we kill the things in Thorium, the bosses in Thorium, they... They didn't get one shot because they went to their second phase and had one health. I don't know. I don't know what the coding is behind it, but it's very interesting. Next up here, the Ravager. This one, honestly, I, I kind of expect to not even die in one shot, but we'll see. Yeah, he's taking more than one shot because he has multiple segments. Pretty much one shot. I feel like if I line up a good enough shot against him, he could probably get one shot. All right, next up, we got the Astrum Aris here. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that out pronouncing that right but there you go he's dead and the astrum deus 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 i'm assuming we gotta kill that one the weird blurry one i don't know there's a lot of things to look at here and i don't think i'm one-shotting any of them but i'm trying my best yeah that one in the middle which looks like the one we had to kill he ain't dying he ain't dying i'm trying to charge up a very long hit here just so we like guarantee kill them but this is looking like this dude he may or may not be a survivor because this this is tough like I don't, I don't remember if he survived in the past i think he did uh, i'm actually not sure all right so we got him here in his open phase for death and he's still surviving hits is he not in his last phase or what i don't know a health bar showed up so i'm assuming he was but now it just seems like this dude is unkillable when do you die oh my god how far did that go i need that thing to come back i need to kill that oh god what have i done <laughs> I sent that thing into like another dimension. All right, now we're doing the abomination. I have no idea what just happened with the Astrum Aris, if I'm being honest. He's kind of just like vanished after I hit him really far. But uh, there we go. Abomination died pretty quickly. Expected, honestly. All right, here we go. We have the Leviathan and the Siren. 
Uh, hopefully they work normally because these, these guys are kind of buggy to spawn sometimes. They just spawn very weirdly. Come over here where I can hit you. There we go. They both got one-shotted though. All right, let us take on Profane Guardians and Providence herself after the Guardians. Let me see if I can get like a one-piece on these guys. I don't know if I can or, or not a one-piece, a three-piece. Boom? Question mark? I don't know. They're not really taking any hits here. Am I not in the right biome? No. Okay, I was just hitting the wrong one. I was about to say there we go. Profane Guardians, dead. Providence, dead. Watch. Dead. One tap. Come here. Come here. Right here. Right down here. A little bit lower, please. Boom. Oh my god, she survived it. Boom. What the hell? She's a goddamn tank. She's unkillable. Okay, maybe not unkillable. She's dead. What? She's still not dead? What the fuck? This is, this is kind of insane. This is the most resistance we've seen so far. There we go. Jesus, she wanted some camera time. I, what a fucking bitch. All right, so we are kind of on our last couple of bosses from Calamity here. Well, like guaranteed, these are the last couple of bosses, I'm pretty sure. Unless I missed one, obviously I might miss a boss here and there. But let's go ahead, let's take on the uh, Guardians, whatever these guys are called, the Sentinel Guardians, whatever. The ones you gotta kill before you fight the Devourer of Gods. All right, let's go ahead, let's take on Ceaseless Void. What do I have to do? I have to kill the Dark Energy? Boom. This guy is always a weird one when in terms of, uh, you know, does he get one shot or not? Boom. He took absolutely no damage from that. If it happens again, I sent him into goddamn orbit with that punch. If that happens again, I'm just going to mark him off and kill him my way because I don't want to sit here punching him for one health. But it seems like a lot of these calamity bosses, they got some resistance. All right, I'm going to kill him my way because we're not going to sit here and punch him like uh, 400 times. While we are down here, though, we are going to take on the poltergeist, which I expect a different outcome. I expect the poltergeist to definitely get one shot, but I guess we'll see. We will see right now. Okay. He survived the hit. He survived the hit. Okay, I, I see you, Poltergeist. Went into the second form. Boom. Still surviving another hit. I don't know if I charged that punch up long enough. I don't think you really have to charge the punches that long. Did I just kill like a like a fake version of him or something? Or did I just do no damage? But yeah, I don't think you have to charge up the punch for that long. I think once those particles show up, that's when you can throw the punch. I'm not sure. Maybe he does do a million damage if you just charge it up for like an hour. I'm not sure on that. We probably could test that on a dummy or something. All right, so next up, we got the last guardian here in the Stormweaver. And then we're going to do the Devourer of Gods, uh, which I expect the Devourer of Gods to, you know. Oh my God, did he even take damage? I couldn't tell. I expect him to be very, very resistant. And I expect us to not be able to do anything at all against him. But let us see the storm we were first if he wants to even swoop down and attack me i don't think he does okay he did absolutely no damage to the head i don't remember where you attack this boss in the head in the tail or what i'm gonna try the tail there we go okay one shot at him in the tail but he does have his second form which i think you could one shot this one in the head okay he didn't he didn't get one shot from that he did not get one shot in the head another shot did not get one shot in the head let me try for the tail this time let me try for the tail I think his tail is his weak spot, but I don't know. I might have just killed him straight up there, to be honest. All right, here we are in what I would call like the three titans of the Calamity mod. We got Devourer of Gods, Yarin, and a Supreme Cal. Let's do it. And obviously, we got the Bumble Burbs in there too. But let us do it. Let's see if Dog will die in one shot or what. I want to hit him either in the head or the tail, but I guess it depends what Dog wants to do. Bring your head over here. No, I need your head to come to an area where I can punch it. Dog has a very weird AI in the, you know... He just kind of, instead of attacking you, kind of just like swerves around. There we go. We hit him in the head. Did not do any damage at all. So now we could try a tail hit. I guess if he brings his head, he's not going to bring his head up. Can you come up a little bit higher? Boom. Try the head again. Did not do any damage. I actually, I didn't see if it did any damage or not. Let's go for the tail this time? Question mark? We'll, we'll tell him. Tail also not taking damage. So it seems like dog might be completely immune to this. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take on Burb singular. Is there multiple burbs after you fight it for a while? I think so. But there you go. Burb is dead. One shot it expected. But now let us get to the big boy. Now, when I get to these two bosses here, Yarn and Supreme Cow, something always happens to the footage. Either I accidentally cut the footage or delete a clip. In previous videos, I try and speed through some of these. And uh, there's a lot of bosses. So if I do ever forget anything, just know I uh, just know that there's a lot of bosses and it's very easy to forget but let's go ahead and fight yarn and supreme cow and hopefully they actually make it into the video hopefully i don't accidentally cut the clip i think it'd be funny if i just cut it now yeah this should be the full version of yarn including you know the second phase and all that oh my god he's so loud why is he always so loud i have fought the uh solar eclipse on this world but he is taking absolutely no damage at all as expected 
last but not least actually not the last one for calamity you know who's last but second to last supreme cow i've extinction don't expect to be able to kill her but we're gonna do our best okay we're gonna do our best let's see if we can even kill the sepulcher the sepulcher Se how do you say this the, the little mini boss Sepul sepulcher i don't know i remember there's something like there's something about like sepulchers in uh, skyrim though so yeah this boss obviously doesn't take any damage so we gotta go break cow's balls real quick these are not actually that quick here gonna do a little little punch tap see look a little punch tap does absolutely no damage i was doing like 500 to hit there just calm down cal i'm just trying to you know get, get my hands on your balls no homo but let's see if we can actually kill her come here come here come here come here oh i missed i don't think it's gonna do anything so i don't know why i'm like even trying so hard okay yep absolutely nothing sent her into goddamn orbit though all right let us take on the actual final enemy slash boss from calamity the eidolon worm i have no idea if this dude's gonna die or not no he didn't die i don't even think he took damage no he took one damage very hefty one damage what just happened right there i want to hit him in the tail okay all right i guess he's not dying all right to finish this off you know we'll go ahead throw this up against lepus and turkor hey sir can you please not attack my uh subjects please you should know better than that mr danu right here's turkor where do you even hit turkor in you, like hit his head and then you hit his chest right or whatever you know just hit him in both and last but not least from consularia is akram or okram or akram <laughs> go ahead let's see what happens if we kill him boom gets insta killed he doesn't do that like big blood splatter thing he did you know last time we killed him and of course since we're you know testing out a juice mod at weapon we obviously gotta put it up against a couple of the juice mod bosses starting with kakatar kakatuar kakator kakatuar whatever you want to pronounce this guy's name boom get him out of here i expect all of the juice mod bosses to die instantly to uh to die instantly to this weapon and uh you know oh okay that went through a second form that went through a second form oh did not go into his final form now i kind of want to fight that boss one more time just just to see the final form okay so maybe we did see its final form we didn't see its second form yeah there you go and last but not least uh, besides you know the mini bosses from the juice mod and a couple of the pre-armor bosses from juice mod we have gilgamesh and enkidu i don't know if i pronounced your name right who the hell cares boom straight into the second form and i Okay. <laughs> I somehow hit my middle mouse button even though I was holding left click. Let's try this again though. Land right on me. Boom! Get him out of here. So there we go. The ultimate fist from the juice mod is able to kill a good majority of the bosses except for like 90% of the calamity ones and a couple of thorium bosses here and there living with one health yeah this video might be a little bit longer than usual you know a nice little treat i've been waiting for the uh team mod loader browser to come back up which has been down for like a week around like a week almost that long but i've been waiting for that to come back up before i really went in on some more terraria videos because you know i like to look at the mod browser get some ideas from it get some mods from there and start using those and uh you know it's been down for a while so hopefully this video is like around 20 minutes i don't know make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and also make sure to follow my twitch my twitter join my discord and check out my second youtube channel vod raiders 101 where i post full twitch live streams i'll see y'all in the next episode Bye bye